Hi there, Leo. It's Maria with your um, June reading. I had to think where I was then. Um, please remember that this is a reading for the collective. So if it doesn't resonate, then also check out your moon and or your rising sign. I know there are some astrologers that say actually your rising sign is more appropriate to you. But it's whatever feels right for you. So check out either this one or a Leo rising or your rising, your actual rising sign, sorry, and or your moon sign. Right, so this is for June. Let's get straight into it. I'll put the tarot cards to one side. If this is your first time with me, I'm literally going to do a very brief, re brief reading for the month ahead to pick up on the energies and see if the cards have a message for you. Um, first thing I'll do is take an oracle card and then I move on to a few tarot cards. So this is the Wisdom of Hafiz Oracle deck. It's one of my favourites. Very gentle energy. Let me focus. I'm so sorry. Right, Leo, June. Leo for June. Leo for June. Okay. Okay, invite peace. I did get the image straight away then that actually there's a lot of chaos around you. So let's see if we need to kind of calm things down. So invite peace is the... You see this card? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, let's do the tarot cards without me throwing them everywhere. It's always a good thing. There's me saying that um, I feel that you're rushing around, but actually it looks like I am. Huh. June for Leo. Leo for June. If we could have a reading for June for Leo. Thank you. Okay, that feels about right. Pop the cards to one side. Right, let's see what June has in store for you. Two threes. Okay, lots of stuff. Lots of things. Okay, so we begin the month by your... I don't normally read people in the courts. Some people do. I, I, I tend to see the energy. Well, I'm just going to say... So you begin the month by taking care of yourself emotionally. And that's because I'm saying to you that you need to. <laughs> because you've been quite chaotic um, what we're suggesting here, what the cards are suggesting here is that you need to spend some time taking care of yourself. If you could just take a day, a me day, a me time, you need to just be with yourself, find some inner peace and to kind of take a relaxing or a resting time. It's really important that you do that um, because there's responsibility that's about to land on you here at work. Or your partner. You're going to take on more responsibility. There's a question here. There's a situation that needs resolving. And it means that you have to take on some extra responsibility. So get the me time in first because this followed it. So some me time because then you've got to become the boss. You've got to take the boss situation sorted out. Now there is a new opportunity to earn money. And that's coming in the middle of the month. And when we get the Three of Pentacles, we call it the Apprenticeship card. It's something that you've just started doing and you're now ready for other people to notice it. It's a new opportunity to do with earning money. I'm not going to say it's at work because it feels like it might be something that's outside of work that you enjoy doing. And then you're just going to take it and run with it. The Knight of Swords says you just literally, I mean, the Knights, they move very quickly. So whenever you get this card or you get a Knight, you're, you're moving forward ever so quickly with this idea. It's great. I mean, it's really, it feels creative. But there's something you're doing, you're creating something for the future and you're just moving forward at fast speed with it. Um, now, the Page of Cups, for there's an... Something coming in towards the end of the month that's it's a new emotional connection. 
and it makes you release something from the past. So you're letting go of something. So there's a new emotional, this can be a new friendship. Yeah, I'm going to say friend. It feels as if it's a friendship. So it could be that when you move forward with this creative endeavor or this endeavor to the apprenticeship card, when you move forward with this, you are introduced to, there's a new emotional connection here, a friendship that's very new. It's very childlike. It's filled with trust. It's um, it's very naive. It's very new. Yeah, and, and it's something that you've, you want somebody who thinks like you do. It's like, um, sorry, I'm umming because I'm, they're kind of guiding me through this. Uh, you are connecting with somebody at a deeper... I think you've been asking for this for quite a while, actually, that somebody comes in and you're able to talk to them on a spiritual... Ah, oh, spiritual, a spiritual basis. So you're asking for that. So you get some enlightenment, some friendship, somebody comes in, and there's actually some releasing of fear here. I believe the cars are telling me that there's something here that you're going to then need to release this fear and this new friendship, this new spiritual awakening, this new love for yourself that comes through this person or this situation is um, allowing you to, to face up to this letting go of whatever it was that um, is holding you back. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. I hope that makes sense to you. And as I usually say, if it doesn't, then please also check out your moon and or your rising because there might be something there for you. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for um, your time, Leo, and I hope you have a good June. Thanks very much.